Okay, before I start uh, spreading the compost out, I wanted to give you a good idea of what it actually looks like after a few weeks of uh, uh, mixing and adding. So as you can see, we've got a little bit of everything. We have a crab apple jar, so we've been throwing a lot of the dropped crab apples in here, trying to break them up the best way we can and mix them in, see if we can add some nutrients. Uh, we got, as you can tell, we got a little bit of everything, including some trash, uh, which we still have to pick out. Uh, and it's uh, pretty breathable. We have a lot of life in it. You can kind of see uh, little bugs and things. And once we turn it, you'll see a lot more of those. And everything's turned from green to brown. Uh, and uh, breaking down very nicely. And then let's see if we just pull a little off. There are like little pockets of mold, but I've been doing the homework and stuff here. It seems like uh, that's been happening to everybody. Not too much of a big deal in the short term. Uh, you can see the little bugs and stuff moving around in here. Usually more towards uh, the top. But it's very light, very, uh, it's not compact and muddy and hard like it was in the beginning for us when we were over uh, watering it. Uh, it really does feel like uh, compost. Very breathable, uh, not very clumpy. Very easy to work with. And in the beginning, I think we were probably watering it too much and it was like dealing with mud and Since we learned our lesson and uh, summer got hot, we had a chance to dry it out completely and kind of start again. All right, but yeah, before, like I said, before I wanted to start separating everything out, I wanted to give you a good idea of what our compost looks like and, and feels like. In, in